French data regulator says, mm -mm, if you delete, if you delist somebody, if we agree and say you just delist somebody in France, Google, you have to delete it not just on Google.fr. You have to delete it everywhere. Not yeah. appeal, not, can't be appealed. And if Google does the right thing and doesn't go along, uh, what is it? I think it's 2 to 5% of Google's revenue could well, be. Globally, right. globally. Globally, globally, yeah. globally. This is just this is this is exactly what I've been screaming about. What's wrong with this decision? Yeah. Uh, and if France can do it, so can China, and so can Putin. And and stay away from our internet, people. <laughs> well, it, this is this is this bothers me profoundly on multiple levels. But one of them, and they're not they're not they're not admitting to this. They literally say that contrary. This is a quote from the CNIL, which is the organization that uh, that, that rejected their appeal said, quote, contrary to what Google has stated, this decision does not show any willingness on the part of the CNIL to apply French law extraterritorially. It's oh, no, we are not saying your law uh, should be everywhere in the world. No, that's okay. We're not saying that. It's our French and, law. And that, st that statement is a bald-faced <laughs> lie. We, we are sitting here in Petaluma, California, covered in the United States, covered, protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. Down the highway, an hour and 20 minutes away, is Google's headquarters. They, do, they have a search index, in case you haven't heard about this, where they index the internet, and whatever's on the internet, if it's legal content, they try to index it so you can search for those things and find those items. And, and what the French, this ruling does, is it reaches across the Atlantic, right past the Constitution, and, and censors internet in the United States for Americans. This is, like, outrageous, and I think Google needs to leave Europe. This is, this is, and just, just Europeans will just go to Google.com, and what are they going to do, block Google? Yes. I don't think they will. They don't, I don't think they will block What do Google. they do, Jeff? I mean, they can't. Just to say bull pucky en français? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just. Can they not do it? Horrible. Can they just ignore no, because, it? No, well, they'll, they'll be, they'll be, they, they, then they can, from what I understand. I'm going to sue France for damaging my Google search. Yeah. There that, is no exactly. appeal. Damage is exactly what it is. They're, they're, no they're requiring by law. This is the, the right to be forgotten in general, even in Europe. The, the law says you must have an, a, a more inaccurate search engine because of privacy. And, yes, privacy is important. But what bugs me is this idea that the Internet and content on the Internet is something that can be meddled with. It can be censored. You can do Speech. the equivalent of bur even book burning as long as it's an American company Speech. doing something digitally. If they think that this content is so privacy evading, then then go in there with, with a bunch of of uh, of jackbooted thugs into the Guardian and shut them down. Uh, censor the content itself. If if this is censorable content, but if it's legal content, then the search engines should point to it. It's speech. It is pure and simple. It is speech. We believe in free speech in this country, and unfortunately, others don't hold that same uh, sacred right as we do. But but now they are indeed. This is exactly what I said was always going to happen: is that European standards were going to were going to affect us in the U.S. and the rest of the world, and then you're going to end up with the lowest common denominator because now you know damn oh. well that Pooty Poot is asking yeah, for the same yeah, thing. Yeah, the, 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 the denominator is going to get way lower here. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, exactly. And this is the only, thing I can see happening. the only thing I can see happening now. And, and Google, God bless them, has not done a great job of dealing with this. They ignored it for a while. Uh, it, it came on them as a surprise. I think I said on the show I was. I was at a Google privacy event to speak in Mountain View when this decision was handed down, and they were all gobsmacked. They didn't see it coming. And Europeans say, you should have, hello. And, and the only thing I can know is that Google has to, has to put forward, Google and others in the Russian Silicon Valley and our government have to put for, forward a full frontal assault on the stupidity of this, including PR. But also, I think at some level, I wonder what the right is to go to the Human Rights Court and go to the EU as a whole. Because the EU will come down in some cases on such stupidity. The problem with this, of course, is, right to be forgotten, is an EU court decision with no right of appeal. And so it is royally effed up. But Google has to find a way to fight this. And I don't know legally what the options are. As Matthew says, it is unappealable at that level. Once they're fined, then they can go fight that. But then they've already been found basically guilty of something. They've already been fined. And they've got a fiduciary responsibility to their shareholders. Okay. I don't the know. Only thing is I there any see, way that we can start a popular movement to tell the France to go f off? I don't know. The only the only thing I could see is the EU might decide. Yes, they they have made decisions about right the right to be forgotten, but they 
the they might be open to an appeal on the basis that France is trying to effectively apply its laws extraterritorially, which is a no-no. So, I mean, that might be an avenue of appeal. I don't know if the EU would listen, but... I just, I mean, look, don't we want privacy? Isn't this what we've been fighting for, this kind of... I, uh, I no, think this is absolutely right. <laughs> we want privacy. We've been saying this all along. We don't want these companies to store information about us. I think this is completely legitimate. Yeah, you know, they, 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 we, is, they're doing the right thing. We we like privacy. Privacy <laughs> is a core value in the West, so does in France. Europe, in, in fact, the United Europe, States. Europe is, protects their people better than the United States does. But, well, that's a, but that's a European value. And if, if European values are going to be uh, instituted not in the publications that exist in Europe, but in the search engines that exist in Mountain View, then the Saudi Arabian values have to be applied globally. The Chinese values, no more mentioning or photographing the T Dalai Lama. No women's hair can be exposed on Google because Saudi Arabia doesn't like it. If Saudi Arabia executes a blogger, they don't really want to be, have uh, uh, problems with their relationship with the United States, their big oil customer, and they want to censor that. That's a Saudi Arabian uh, um, uh, value, and that has to be implemented into Google. You can't mention that anything about that blogger being executed because Saudi Arabia's values insist that that be a global. This is, it's ridiculous. And, and by the way, this for Europe, this is cultural bigotry to think they actually expect Google to say, okay, European values are good. Everybody else's values are bad. Well, but, but, but to play Leo's devil's advocate role here, which, which Leo does very well, um, they would argue that we we have forced our values on the world. Right, right. And in fact, you argue that. Right. 